Tenet Arca plus more powerful build, is that what you want? So that's what you're gonna talk about today. Hello, hello, and welcome, Hackpack Gaming is here with you, another video about uh, Warframe. Today we're gonna do a build about the Tenet Arca plus more, one of the most powerful uh, shotguns in the game right now. But what is the Tenet uh, Arca plus more? The Arca plus more is a corpus built-in, uh, plasma shotgun that fires highly damaged pulses of radiation it have its advantages and have its uh, own uh, disadvantages so one of why you want to build the plasma why just because first of all you will have to build it anyway so instead of wasting forma throwing random polarities i would say just build the right forma or just follow my uh, polarity so in the future if you want to get the Arca Plasma or you build it or maybe your friend have it and you want to have it too. So you are ready my friend. So why? Because it gives uh, radiation pulses, guaranteed guaranteed uh, impact proc, high status chance uh, projectiles, 3 meter punch through. Do you know what that means? This shotgun is not uh, AOE damage but because it have a punch through it makes it AOE damage. So in case you are a new player and you don't know what this means, there is weapons that does AOE damage like blasts, like radius and so on. But there is weapons that are single target. But if you throw a uh, punch through on them, they become similar to AOE in a way. But not like a blast. This is not a blast damage. So you're going to hit a big area. It's a three meter punch through. And there is this message about it. We're going to talk to you about a second. This weapon very good in ammo efficiency, so when you shoot sometimes you're gonna feel like you're shooting, but sometimes it's like uh, you have 10 bullets, but you feel like you shoot 12 or 14 bullets because it is high ammo efficiency as well, it is high uh, damage. But this weapon have disadvantages. First of all, the biggest, biggest, biggest nightmare of all the players that loves uh, Arca Plasmor or Tenet Arca Plasmor, of course everyone building Tenet Arca Plasmor now because nobody building the normal one anymore. It doesn't have no, it, it doesn't have like damage on headshot bonus, like no bonus for your damage headshot, no multipliers on headshot. So if you hit headshot or not, it doesn't matter. But we're gonna fix that in this video. Don't worry about that. And there is another problem with this weapon is that the punch through its own body. So if you hit a bit away from the body, the others will not get it. So you need to hit direct hit. So it, it, it works. And the biggest, biggest, biggest problem, even for me, and I don't like it because if I fix it, it like sacrifice a lot of mod slots and damage. It is the low reload speed. This weapon have a very low reload speed, guys, and so on. But it is fun to use. For example, if you hit a projectile in the wall, it will look at that. Up. Oh, you see that? Kaboom. You hit it here, it goes up. Where you hit the projectile, it bounces the projectile. As you can see, the reload is insanely long. So if you plan on using this weapon in high level missions, remember that the reload is a key. So we're going to test the weapon in level uh, 175 heavy corrupted uh, gunners, uh, my friend, uh, and so on. So this is a galvanized build for the end game. So remember, so for the weapon to take its max potential, we need to do a couple kills and then you can see. So we're going to do one run. We're going to kill them all. So you see how the weapon evolves in damage. And then I'm going to go respawn them. And so the weapon is fully uh, buffed. So let's go. There we go. I'm not going to gather the enemies around so you can see. Okay, now you can see the difference. That's one kill. This is the galvanized power. It's like that. Now look at the reload. It's crazy. One of the reasons I don't use this weapon so much, but I like to use it from uh, time to time. Okay, here you go. Let me go respawn them fast as we have uh, the buffs on. There we go. And it have a very nice uh, distance. There we go. Boom. Very, very, very powerful uh, weapon, guys. Just the reload speed and you're ready uh, to go. And you're saying, Hank, but this weapon doesn't have headshot multipliers. Why are you hitting uh, up, not in the bodies? Because, guys, I fixed the headshot problem. And I'm going to show you how you fix it as well. So, before we reach the part where the build, if you really, you know this channel, how it works, we test in similar com, and then we go test the build in uh, Steel Path. 
that's how things work so seeing is believing so fast travel navigation and we're gonna go to steel path in case you're a new player and you don't know steel path you unlock by finishing all the nodes in your normal star shaft which is this one and then you go finish your angels of zariman quest that's they added they added that uh, condition lately but yeah and then you go spectation in any relay kaboom steel path unlocked why steel path not normal missions if you're a new player because enemies level going to be boosted to plus 100 enemy health and shield and armor plus 250 percent so you know you got the deal so we're gonna go void void considered as the end game of warframe one more thing guys we're using a nidus for one reason one reason only so we don't boost the weapon in any uh, way we're not using pillage to uh, reduce their armor we're not using um, eclipse we're not using anything guys it's just nidus out there but the question is but why hank you're not you don't use the advantages of uh, other buffs and helmet and so on i will tell you why guys so i let the decision for you to uh, choose what uh, really frame you want to play because you see me playing with a certain way you maybe you don't want to play uh with hero boosting creed boosting creed or you, you don't want pillage from hildrin you, you, i mean depends what you uh want you don't want the bubble from mag you get the idea guys but as you can see the weapon is destroying them like you i'm like one shotting them guys look at this easy peasy and there is one more thing i want to talk to you about okay so many out there will tell you like like i they told me as well like always to go for toxin 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 guys honestly i'm sometimes tired of making the weapons like from the kuva and the tenet i mean we've been dealing with all the kuva weapons go uh, heat go uh, like this no guys it's time like I wanted to change things around and I challenged myself so I made this weapon from the tenet as electricity so I have it built in with corrosive and of course the radiation it comes free with the weapon okay so yeah we're not gonna go for the heat we don't want there is some players uh, telling me in the ch in sometimes in discord sometimes in the comments that about certain builds i don't want to make a common builds i we know those builds like throw this slash with toxin i don't know i mean if i make a common build that everyone knows what what would make any build special so yeah you get the idea but that doesn't mean we're not gonna make them we're gonna make them one day and throw them there there is many builds i made their common meta builds that you can find anywhere and there is builds i made that you're not gonna find anywhere so yeah so it, it so you can choose what you really want you you want the meta you want something different you want something special yet powerful as you can see guys we're one-shotting this and remember this weapon is a shotgun Keep that in mind this weapon uh, doesn't have a blast aoe damage it works with a uh, pass through so keep that in mind so taking uh, a weapon with you like a weapon or any any melee weapon for example if you're going survival to help you a bit clear uh, the enemies uh, for life support or you can just uh, like um, run to the life supports here and there as you can see, we're running low in life support. Okay, we go for 20%. Okay, let's go to this uh, 190 meters. There we go. Yeah, okay. So remember, the weapon is not the AOE weapon, so it struggles a bit until the enemies like so much you know how steel path works the enemies keep uh, getting more and more and more and more the further you stay the further you go and with the reload speed you're having right now it's really really like takes a while to reload but in the other side the damage is so awesome 
the punisher through is so awesome i mean i love the weapon honestly and i highly recommend you build it give it a try i mean it's fun to play it doesn't have anything special but it feels fun to play because the reload speed gives you that a bit of challenge that waiting time on how you survive in like strong uh, enemies like these it's kind of challenging and in warframe you know we lack a lot of challenges and we lack a lot of content but worry not my friend because there is the veil breaker content is coming soon we have the duviri paradox is coming soon as well we have the soul frame game uh, from warframe uh, so it's coming soon we have a new like wolf frame i guess in the style of nidus in case you don't know it's coming soon as well so the fifth warframe so as you can see 400,000 damage uh, guys don't worry because we're not gonna stay forever i already tested the weapon for 40 minutes in a steel path so you're ready you're guaranteed the weapon is guaranteed that's gonna take you anywhere you uh, want simple as that now we're gonna kill the acolyte and we're gonna see how much how many hits it's gonna take uh, us to kill the acolyte and we're gonna be uh, extracted now how you survive how you do things that's totally up to you i'm delivering for you a weapon and a build four shots and the acolyte is done health and shield and let's extract so again you go you're gonna need this weapon for mastery anyway so you're gonna have the arca plus uh, tenet arca plus more in your foundry and in your uh, inventory 100 percent today tomorrow one day whatever so whenever you are ready to build the build is here waiting for you so when you level it to uh, 40 for mastery be sure to put the right polarities so you come back and you get the right uh, build so when you decide ever to make the build for it if you want to uh, like try different weapon and antenna arca plasma is out there you don't have to change another five forma because you just wanted to level your mastery so and i made this build uh, based on you, your request you guys you guys ask for it so i pushed like what what i do is i push weapons forward that you guys ask about and i leave the other ones that scheduled and ready behind so i deliver what you really guys asking for so equipment arsenal first thing we're going to talk about nidus nidus of course nidus doesn't boost anything but we're using a corrosive projection and arcane acceleration on critical hit 30 percent chance for 90 percent fire rate to primary weapon excluded shotgun so this one doesn't work anymore so i wanted you guys to know it doesn't work anymore but arcane rage on headshot 15 percent chance for 30 percent damage to primary weapons for 24 seconds it doesn't uh, exclude the uh, exclude sh shotgun and so on so it's still uh, working so fire rate from arcane acceleration goodbye it's done because the kuvacom was abusing this arcane acceleration no more so arcane rage is what you're gonna get your uh, stuff uh, from okay because we don't really like for example uh we don't really have any other uh arcane if you guys know uh, an arcane let me know it's like for the shotguns on critical okay the arcane tempo then on critical hits 15 percent chance for 90 percent fire rate of shotguns so i forgot about the tempo so we're gonna do it as a bonus to go back and uh, try it. so here we go the tenet uh, arca uh, plasmor we have a critical uh, decl de declaration uh, 200 percent uh, critical chance minus 20 percent fire rate so now with the arcane tempo we're gonna make even further fire rate because we're recovering from the minus 20 uh, percent but we was covering already from it from the arcane fervor so we're gonna recover even further and we do a higher uh, fire rate okay 
So galvanized the savvy, 72% statue chance on kill. This is a must-have on this weapon. A 36% the direct damage per statue type affecting the target for 20 seconds. Stacks up to two times. Galvanized hell, 100% multi-shot on kill, 27% multi-shot for 20 seconds, stacks up to four times. Contagious spread for 90% toxin. Hand termination for 30% chance to apply slash on critical. We have our pet uh, proking viral for us. You are ready to go. Panzer Vopophila all the way. If you don't have Panzer Vopophila, you can go and find it in the channel. I have there how to capture it, everything. And I'm going to show you the build in a second. Vigilante Fervor for critical uh, for fire uh, rate. And to enhance our crit hits from primary weapons. Primate Ravage is a must have. 100% critical damage. Primate Point Blank for 165% damage. If you want, you can switch. If you don't like the Point Blank, you can put the Corrupted. Uh, damage that's totally uh, up to you what you want to do galvanized acceleration 30 percent projectile speed beam length on kill 30 percent projectile speed beam length for 10 seconds stacks up to two times and how we fix the problem with this weapon on the headshot uh, doesn't give bonus uh, so here we go on precision he uh, on precision high headshot kill 120 percent damage for 24 seconds stacks up to three times which is 360 works the same as the merciless and we have plus 30 percent to headshot multipliers and minus 50 percent head weapon recoil for me i think this is working and this is how we fix the problem but i am like thinking because you cannot see the mathematics behind the scripts and what's going on and if but i have like a question guys for you like i really don't know but maybe nobody knows i think this fix it but it's saying 30% to headshot multiplier. Does this mean the headshot multiplier that already exists in the weapon? Or does it mean headshot multiplier, it, it gives you new or... Uh, you get the idea, guys. This is a very complicated thing because you cannot find anywhere anything about this. Because 30% headshot multiplier applying to what I have. So in Arca, in Tenet Arca Plasma, we don't have the headshot multiplier. So 30% is going for nothing. Or it is 30% adds like statue chances or things like that. So we have 30% headshot uh, multiplier because saying 30, they do, they doesn't say 30% headshot multiplier plus 30% headshot. It's saying plus 30% to headshot multiplier. So if you have a headshot multiplier, it adds to it. But it's a 50-50, so I think this is the way to fix the weapon headshot multiplier. If not, uh, so throw back the uh, primary Mercilites. Okay, so we are we running uh, radi radiation comes with the weapon. We push the corrosive 2779, so we can uh, proc always corrosive. Because now the status works in the game, as the higher it will proc for you. And total 9587. This weapon uh, have a low riven disposition, so you will really, really find them very expensive. Yet they have very, very, very small uh, like uh, bonus to it. So you're gonna buy a very expensive riven for a small bonus. But that's totally up to you if you really want to go for a riven. As you can see here, look, 35% critical damage, 50% multi shot, 30, uh, 38 uh, like cold. This is nice if you have a toxin built in. But this weapon is electricity uh, built in. Glaive, you know. Uh, in the channel you can find glaive uh, we're using the panzer profiler why panzer profiler panzer profiler is the best pet in the game right now it can keep you alive it doesn't die it keep reviving itself it can revive you it can proc viral for you it is the pet that does it all and it doesn't die okay so let's go really quick to uh to test with the tempo so you guys have an idea because i forgot like and i could edit the video and i say oh, okay uh, I know and I remember then, you know, I look good in the picture because it's obvious I forgot about the tempo and I said acceleration does work, but I forget and humans and, you know, there we go. Okay, seems I can see the difference. Okay, here we go. Very, very nice. So arcane tempo, guys, let's go. Throw Arcane Tempo instead of Acceleration. You're ready to go. There you go. Kaboom. 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 I'm not gonna go to Steel Path because you guys can figure already that how it's uh, working. Okay? 
So, Arcane Tempo, my friend, here it is, on critical hit, 15% chance for 90% fire rate to shotguns for 12 seconds, so Arcane Tempo all the way, guys, okay, ready, and happy, and we all good, perfect, okay, so guys, uh, I really hope you enjoyed the, the build, and I hope this build serves you well, playing around, maybe you're maining Arca Plasmor and you're looking at 10 at Arca Plasmor and you're looking for a build, so here you go, you ask for the build and Hank delivers like uh, always. Uh, if you have any other build, any other idea you're looking for, a build something special or something, let me know in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Subscribe! Um, the, you know, you know what you have to do. Like, comment, share. We have a Discord link on the description. Feel free to join us on Discord. And thank you so much for every channel that's been supporting this channel from the very beginning and starting from now. Uh, and peace.